Today is Freedom Day, Juneteenth, an official holiday in the city of Philadelphia commemorating the end of slavery in America. Natasha Brown has more on how the African American Museum in Philadelphia is marking the holiday despite being closed. The African American Museum in Philadelphia has been closed for months because of the coronavirus pandemic, but it's finding new ways to commemorate Juneteenth. It commemorates the day 155 years ago in 1865 when purportedly the, the last enslaved Africans in Galveston, Texas, finally received word of President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. The day usually entails hundreds of visitors flowing through the museum to see special exhibits, hear music, and take part in arts and crafts. While that can't happen in person this year, it will still happen virtually. Through this virtual uh, experience, we're going to start out the day with some arts and crafts for our youngest folks, an opportunity to make a Juneteenth flag and find out what the symbols and colors mean followed by a, a history lesson for those young folks. Reenactors, poetry readings, and a musical celebration will round out the virtual experience. The shuttered museum houses poignant art exhibits that are still relevant today. In the midst of pounding the pavement. Chronicling the history of civil unrest captured years ago in the fight for racial equality. While the museum has suffered an economic blow because of the shutdown, officials say the virtual setting it's created to celebrate Juneteenth will open up more visitors from around the country. Since we started planning this, every week uh, we've had renewed motivation and had a new reason why we must continue. Even when the doors closed and the budget shrunk, the meaning and the reason for doing it grew. The virtual Juneteenth experience will start at 11 a.m. on Saturday. There are a number of social media platforms that will be carrying this. For the very latest, go to our website, cbsphilly.com. Natasha Brown, CBS3 Eyewitness News.